is Scott from Community Therapy. We're at Alpha Life Care today. I'm here with Gavin. What have we got here in front of us? Thanks, Scott. So this is a, our Eurocare floor line, um, the electric height adjustable bed. It is a four section bed with the electric backrest, the knee brake, um, the upper leg and the lower leg. It has got a vascular support option. This bed does go down to 100 mil and goes up to 800 mil. Can also come in single and in king single widths. It has a built-in length extension on both beds, and it also has a central locking casters. Okay, so lots of information because you know your stuff. <laughs> For those playing at home, what does that mean in terms of multiple section? So the four section meaning you can raise the backrest up, and you can lower the backrest to help with any breathing difficulties. Yep. Um, you can then, what happens when you raise the backrest is you'll typically slide down the bed a little. By bending the knee brake, it can help to hold the patient into a better position so you're not sliding down, pushing onto the footboard. Yep. With using your vascular support, that can help with your fluid drainage that needs to, may need to happen. What do you time. mean by vascular support? So vascular support is knee break is knees up and feet down. Vascular yep. support is knees up and feet up. Okay. So the feet are the same level as the knee, yep. trying to get the fluid out of them back into the... Okay. So the bed has multiple areas through it where it can independently move. Correct, that's yep. right. Awesome. Yep. I think one of the things that we like from an occupational therapy point of view out in the community, particularly, we see a lot of old adults, people living with disabilities that need a piece of assistive technology such as a bed, but they might be a little bit concerned of how is this going to look in my home. Sure. Um, a lot of older equipment um, previous to you know the availability of equipment in the home now was quite hospital looking in nature but as you can see by this bed it can look very much like a, a normal bed in the home with a nice you can put a nice book on the side and dress it up a little bit as well but this fundamentally looks really much like a normal bed in someone's home yeah exactly right and whilst you can often get a bed that looks great it does, does also have to be practical Correct. so we can add side rails to this bed if you need yep. to um, but then it's also got brilliant um, under bed clearance. So you can put an over bed table, you can use a patient lifter without any restricted access as yep. well. So nice and practical, uh, but also looks good. Yeah, yeah. So from an occupational therapy perspective, we're always looking at one, like what you've said, getting the clinical aspects of the equipment correct first. But then we also know how the how much the importance of aesthetics plays as well. So we're mindful of that in the home. And I always like to say in these videos, if you're watching this at home for yourself or for a loved one, know that you can get nice looking medical equipment in your home. So don't let that um, you know prevent you from seeking assistance. Um, maybe let's just have a look at bed moving down so people have an idea of how low that it goes to sure so the old terminology is four inches yeah for the modern ones <laughs> four inches we're talking either 100 mil or 10 centimeters yeah that is obviously plus the mattress so yep. with this mattress at 180 mil we've got a transfer height here of about 280 mil or closer to your uh, probably 10 inches or 11 inches yep. yeah testing to convert it <laughs> yeah yep. and then coming back up so easy to use, multiple different reasons why I would um, be recommending, you know, a floor line bed and beyond the scope of this video we're more just getting people to open their eyes and ears to different types of equipment that you can have in your home particularly, but you'll often have uh, pieces of equipment like this that residential aged care facilities, disability group homes as well will be engaging with, um, so yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of equipment. Uh, anything further to add? Um, other than it does have your, it's also got the Trendelenburg as well. Trendelenburg meaning? Exactly this. So Trendelenburg is head down, feet up. Yep. And if we go reverse Trendelenburg, we actually go feet down, head yep. up. Yep. Um, this is mainly a very um, clinic, um, medical types of conditions is when you use yep. this. Not real common, not everybody uses it. Yep. However, one thing I do say is it does help with um, getting in and out of the bed, especially yep. for those that are trying, that are finding it difficult getting the bed, their, legs their legs in, in and out. It can yep. help you get into a bit more of a seated position, especially when you raise the backrest up. Yep, so it can help transfers as well. Can help with transfers. Yep. Um, it's also a nice way to visit somebody if you have the bed up, you put a little bit of tilt in, and by raising the back and knees together, 
we can get into almost a almost like top a, of a chair position. Yeah, almost like a recliner chair position. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's the other one. Here we go. So for somebody communicating with loved ones, family, friends, this you know brings somebody up to a nice high line position as well. Yes, and you can see from feeding point of view, the back yep. is almost vertical, so yep. it's great for anyone that happens to be eating in bed yep. at an overbed table. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Thanks so much. I think we've covered heaps in this video. Very good. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in the next video.